Welcome to uh, Cooking with the Raws. We're here at um, Ian and Eric's house. Eric's the Raws. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make my very famous kale salad. I haven't really named it. I just call it kale salad because there's literally only one. It's like the Highlander. I should probably call it the Highlander. So we're going to make the Highlander today. Actually, I don't know if I like that because it's the name of my old high school, and that's just weird. Well, not my high school, but like the team at my high school. Anyway, you get the point. So we got kale here. I'm going to show you a very important thing, how to strip the kale. Take it like this, put your hands around, you know, thumb, forefinger, and we get like a, one of these. Do this. Pull it off. hey -o. Pull it right off. You know, and then rip, rip it up like it's a bad test you had in high school at Governor Livingston, the Highlanders. You know, rip it up like it's the members of the football team that were mean to you and you threw dirt in your face, you know? Just really get into it. It's a true story. You know, just rip it right off the stem. Anyway, it's going well here. All right, and, you know, get the garlic. You gotta, you gotta get a shot of this garlic, Roz? You know, cut it, cut that up, smash it, you know. I, I have no patience for people that take too long to cut garlic, you know, it's a waste of time. Got, got a lot of things to do, I gotta be at work in like 45 minutes, you know. I want this salad, I want it quick. You know, cut it up, turn it, dice it, keep dicing, you know, just put it in a pile and just like really go for it. You know, garlic's, you know, sticky, it sticks to your knife, you know, you want to clean it off sometimes. Glad you guys have a chef's knife. You know, sometimes when you go on tour, you go to a house, they don't have a chef's knife, you're trying to cook everyone in the house breakfast, it just like doesn't, you know. How you can get anything done without a chef's knife? Anyway, throw that in. You know, you got a lemon, cut the lemon. You know, do your best to get as many seeds out of it as you can. I don't know. I usually just let the seeds go in the salad, it doesn't matter. Very important, very important technique. You squeeze the lemon with your teeth to make sure that you get all of the juice out. You know, go like that. Get whatever good pulp you want. It's gonna be great. You know, that's probably enough juice. You want about an equal part soy sauce. And the thing is, most people fuck this salad up because they don't put in enough soy sauce. Because that looks like a lot of soy sauce, and it is. But the thing is, sourness of the lemon, the saltiness of the soy sauce, cancel each other out. Add the garlic, perfect. Whatever. You know, here, come on in, check out that salad. Check out what's going on there, you know. Got some pomegranates in it. Get that out. Used about a quarter of a pomegranate. You might think that doesn't look like a lot, but that is a lot. You got some unsalted, dry toasted sliced almonds. It's very nice. You know, almonds are like the best nut for you. You want to sprinkle a bunch on in there. They're great. Add some real crunch to the salad, you know? Last two ingredients, my probably personal favorite parts. The finishers, I like to call them. You got a coconut manna. Now, sometimes I like to use coconut oil. But um, the mana should do just great. Add a little bit of sweetness, add a little hint of that coconut flavor. Usually what I do is I just shave it right off into the salad. And I'm gonna do this for a couple seconds. Um, you know, my coconut, my jar of coconut man is pretty frozen because I live in a warehouse and today it's about, you know, 20 degrees inside the warehouse. So this is essentially frozen. But, you know, I prefer this. Y'all do you, but you want that coconut taste. It's gonna be delicious. Anyway, that's about as much as I'll usually put in. You know, scrape off the knife. Don't cut yourself. Live on the edge though, you know, like you listen to Aerosmith. Aerosmith lives on. Avocado, very important. Cut the avocado. You ever cut an avocado before? Or you do it like this. Score it, really, whatever this is called. This is what you do to a mango, too. But a mango, you're gonna flip open. I've never actually done that with an avocado. Oh, I guess you can. Here, let me flip open an avocado. You can just dump all that out. Woo! Mango, you gotta cut off. Uh, 
You know, little known fact, I just learned that right that second. I've never tried that before. So, yeah, that's tight. Anyway, this is what our salad looks like now. It's very good. Here, let's get in the light. Oh, yeah, probably whatever. Um, so that's it. Now you do the best part with you massage it. A lot of people don't like kale because it's really fibrous and it's, uh, you know, sometimes tough to eat for people. They don't like the texture. It has a really nice bitter taste that uh, goes really well with the soy sauce and the uh, lemon. And what the lemon's actually doing is the acid in it, when you massage it into the, the kale, it breaks down the cell wall and uh, it gets softer. The avocado is there for lubrication. If I had used coconut oil instead of manna, that would also provide nice lubrication. Little sweetness added by the pomegranate, little sweetness added by, uh, you know, some of that coconut again. Got the garlic. Got the almonds for some crunch. It's gonna be great. You guys are gonna love it. So, uh, you know, it's gonna be, you see that? It's, it's delicious, that uh, really perfect. Best part, you like the vinegars. The lip, um, mm. 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 Anyway, thanks for joining us. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, the musical soundtrack for the evening is uh, the new record by uh, my band The Weeks out on Lamo Records on April 7th. It's gonna be tight. Thanks for tuning in.